I have started my smartphone journey with this tiny device and also a uh, flushing custom ROM journey with this device. I still vividly remember that this device when I was using in 2011, it was a really low spec device. It cannot run anything. So I had flushed tons of ROM on this. And first time when I tried to flush a ROM on this device, I break the device and I had to take it to a local shop to flush the phone. And after that, I have learned gradually how to flush the ROM and other things. And today, I'm going to flush a custom ROM on this device just for fun. And I will try that. So now currently it is running on Android 2.36, as you can see here. I will flush Android 7 based ROM, although it will not be Android proper Android 7. Maybe it is themed version of it. But anyway, this device still can flash custom ROM that's funny though. And it's already like 14 years old device. And flashing custom ROM on this device actually is pretty easy. You would just download the firmware file and require and also root file. And you can just flash it. You don't need any kind of unlocking bootloader or, or you don't need any computer to do that actually. Because today's device, you really need computer to do. Like if you, if you want to install TWRP app to unlock bootloader and flush the TWRP directly from your PC. So let's start the process. First of all, we'll turn off the device. I have already downloaded the firmware file and root file and also the TWRP. Let's see how long it takes. I don't think it will take long time. So first of all, we'll boot to the recovery mode. So it will boot into it is stock recovery. So in the recovery mode, you will not be able to touch the screen. You have to use like these buttons, like power button and volume rockers to navigate. So first of all, what we will do, we will apply update from SD card and we will select our CWM recovery. And we are in CWM recovery right now. Now we will install our root package. So I do have my root package here somewhere here. The buttons, it's pretty. Okay, can go now. We'll root the device first. So we have update 1.zip, that is the root file. Okay, and we'll go down again. Install the update. So now, what we'll do, what we will install a file. So it's here, install zip, choose zip from SD card and it will flash this file which will partition our it is going to format the device into ext4 format and after that we will choose zip from SD card again and we will flash our kernel so after kernel I do need to reboot the device kernel okay flashing kernel now we'll go back and in one section we'll reboot to the recovery again then we'll flush the the firmware very straightforward process actually you in some case you don't really need to do this kind of thing you can directly flash it so now we will wipe factory data reset delete all and we'll wipe cache partition then we'll go to advanced section. We'll do a wipe Delvic cache. And also we'll do wipe battery status. Then we'll go back and we'll mount the storage and data. And we mount the data. And as you can see, we have mounted the data. And I will go back and now we will select apply and install zip from SD card. Still zip one, choose zip. And we will select our ROM file. So we have nougat stable. So this one is the wrong, which I'm going to flash. Flash it. And... The flashing is started. In some of the ROM, you will not see anything like that. It will directly install, but in some case, you need to do these things, like have to go press the next, next, and you have to like, Agree the agreement and next. And also you can like reboot the device after installation. We'll do that too. Next. And install now. Okay. Now it is started installing. 
I hope it will not take long time. So the ROM installation is finished as you can see here. Now it, the device is rebooting. Let's see how long it takes to boot. First boot will take a bit more than usual time. I don't think it will take a lot of time, but let's see. 2000 years later. So, wait, wait, wait. Wait, this is strange actually, this is strange. Did you hear the, the boot animation audio? Let me, let me, let me show you something now. So this is my phone and if I go to setting and sound and haptic. Do you hear that? This is my ringtone of my phone and I've been using this ringtone for very, very long time. I don't really know how it got it here. It, it's quite strange actually, now it's make me a at first I thought I got a phone call and I was looking for my phone and later on I just got it like this was the like boot animation audio of this this ROM quite strange actually quite fun so the device is booted up now um yeah it's vibrated right now and we got custom Android something like this so we select the setup wizard and hopefully the device will boot so the device is booted up as you can see here and we are in the ROM. You see, it's pretty easy and straightforward process to install a custom ROM on this kind of devices. And we are in the ROM now. And this ROM is actually pre-rooted, as you can see here. Yeah, it is a pre-rooted pre ROM. So all the root access and even we have, we got exposed firmware too, actually. So if you want to do some kind of tweak and other things, if you remember that exposed is a big deal like back then, and like uh, we can install a lot of of modules with that one and as you can see here the ROM is pretty smooth actually it's better than the stock one as you can see here it's running on it's sure that it's running on Android 7 but not really it's not really on Android 7 and in Android 2.36 you can't really use like uh, YouTube let me check I can use like YouTube or not if I can play so we are having some issue with the ROM it's pretty usual that you will get issues with this kind of ROM but anyway it will work so let me connect to my Wi-Fi 10 years later so for some reason it cannot connect to my any of my Wi-Fi network I did try with my home Wi-Fi network even from hotspot from my phone it does see my networks but I can't really connect maybe there is some issue with like the Wi-Fi band and other things because of that it is not working but rather than that the ROM is working perfectly fine though let's see the camera is working or not the camera is also working and yeah it got a 2 megapixel camera which is pretty decent and I do remember that I took tons of photos with this device actually and everything is working perfectly fine it's pretty smooth not seeing any kind of issue actually it looks pretty good actually it's better than the stock ROM and also it got audio player and everything and it's kind of working and it's like brings back a lot of memories so that's all nothing to do actually just for fun i did it so thank you very much for watching and spending your time here i will see you next time